Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we are going to discuss the Environmental Studies question paper AECC for BA, BSc, BCA, BCOM, BBA, BSW, 4th semester CBSC course. So, we will be understanding 80 MCQs and their correct answers. So, this is the CBSC pattern paper, but it is helpful for all the NEP course students who have environmental studies for their respective semesters. So, let us start with the first question. We will understand what are the options given and which one is the right option. Environmental studies is dash subject as the options are a multidisciplinary b agriculture c non science and d is complex it's very simple answer option a is a multidisciplinary is the right answer environmental study is a multidisciplinary subject because it comprises the various branches of studies like chemistry physics medical science life science agriculture public health etc and it is the science of physical phenomena in the environment. Environmental study deals with every issue that affects an organism. So therefore, the multidisciplinary is the right answer. Coming to second question, the region of the earth's surface inhabited, uh, inhabited by living organism is Option A, atmosphere Option B, lithosphere Option C, hydrosphere or is it option D biosphere so for this question the right answer is biosphere so option D because it is made up of the part of the earth where the life exists and the biosphere extends from the deepest root system of to the dark environment of ocean trenches to lush rain forest and high mountain tops so therefore biosphere is the right option coming to the third question again the easy question is there so 5th June is celebrated as option a world population day uh, option B world earth day option C world environment day option D world ozone day we know that world population day is celebrated on 11th July and world earth day is celebrated on 22nd April and world ozone day is celebrated on 16 September every year so therefore the option C world environment day which is celebrated on the 5th June every year to remind the people to save the nature and the earth by stopping their non-environmental friendly activities. So therefore, the option C, World Environment Day is the right answer. So fourth question is, mangroves are found in A. Coastal areas B. Riverside areas C. Desert areas Option D. Forest areas where do we find these mangroves as we know that uh, there are three uh, types of mangrove forest red black white uh, which is mainly found in the sundarbans gangas rivers delta which is the world's largest mangrove forest located in west bengal of india and bangladesh and also there is a pichavaram mangroves in Tamil Nadu and uh, in Maharashtra Ratnagiri mangroves are there so therefore uh, these are found in the coastal areas so option A is the right answer coastal areas coming to question number five renewable resources include again the easy question uh, renewable resources include dash water coal charcoal or mineral so here 
the renewable resources uh, includes like uh, solar energy wind and falling water the heat of the earth that is called uh, geothermal and plant material like biomass waves ocean current temperature dif uh, differences in the oceans and the energy of the tides so these are the renewable resources so the water comes under the renewable resources so therefore renewable resources include the water not coal charcoal or mineral the next one is question number 6 geothermal energy is stored dash so geothermal energy is a type of renewable energy and takes from the earth's core it comes from the heat generated during the original formation of the planet and the radioactive decay of materials this thermal energy is stored in rocks and fluids in the center of the earth so therefore here the option within the earth option d is the right answer for question number 6 geothermal energy is stored within the earth coming to the seventh question nuclear energy is converted into dash energy so nuclear energy is either converted into uh, sorry um, converted into wind energy or petrol energy or electrical energy or coal energy so four options are there so wind petrol electrical and coal so nuclear energy originate from the splitting of uranium atoms a process which is called as fission and this generates the heats to produce the steam which is used by turbine generator to generate the electricity so therefore option c that is electrical energy nuclear energy is converted into electrical energy so option c is the right answer coming to question number 8 alternative energy resources are a solar energy petrol energy diesel energy or mineral energy so which one is called as the alternative energy resource okay now coming to this alternative energy resources uh, this energy includes the hydroelectric energy solar energy geothermal energy wind energy nuclear energy and biomass energy so therefore the option a solar energy is the right option because it includes uh in the alternative energy so therefore option a solar energy is the right option question number 9 the basic functional unit in ecology is dash option a organism option b environment option c ecosystem or is it option d earth so as we know that ecosystem is the basic functional unit based on the study of ecology so therefore ecosystem is the right option the basic functional unit in ecology is ecosystem so we study ecosystem in ecology so therefore functional unit in ecology is ecosystem question number 10 dash are the components of an ecosystem so we have to find out the components of ecosystem so is it uh, biotic abiotic or option b plants and animals or option c land and river or is it option d plants and earth so every ecosystem has two components as we know that uh, it is namely biotic component and abiotic component so biotic components refers to all the living organism in ecology while abiotic refers to the non living things so therefore biotic and abiotic are the component of ecosystem option a is the right answer question number 11 the first hydro Uh, electric project in western ghats is dash so we have to find out which one is the first hydroelectric project in western ghats option a sharavati project option b varahi project 
ऑप्शन सी भाकर नंगल प्रोजेक्ट ऑप्शन डी इज साइलेंट वैली प्रोजेक्ट सो एक्सेप्ट दिस भाकरा नंगल प्रोजेक्ट विच इज लोकेटेड इन हिमाचल प्रदेश एंड विच वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री and uh, other three projects uh, were implemented in the western ghats uh, like uh, sharavati project in 1964 varahi project in 1989 and uh, silent valley project in 1976 as we uh, talk about the first hydro uh, uh, hydro electric project in western ghats if we come to india india's first hydro electric power plant uh, was installed in darjeeling west bengal in 1897 but in the question they asked the first hydro electric project in western ghats not in india so western ghats first hydro electric project is sharavati project because uh, as per the inception date of this uh, project uh 1964 is the sharavati project varahi is 1989 silent valley project is 1976 so therefore sharavati project is the right answer coming to question number 12 serious environmental impact of tsunami tsunami in japan is due to dash option a earthquake option b nuclear acid uh accident nuclear ac- accident or is it option c sea waves or is it option d volcano so earthquake uh, struck of the northern coast of the honshu on the japan trend so t tsunami that was generated by the earthquake arrived at the co- coast within the 13 minutes our topping the sea wall and uh, disabling three nuclear reactor within a day and uh, magnitude of this uh, earthquake was 9.1 so therefore the reason uh, the serious environmental impact of the sea uh, t tsunami happened in the japan due to earthquake so right option is option a earthquake coming to question number 13 the major effect of global warming is what is the major effect of global warming option a animals will die option b aquatic plants will die option c crop production and yield will be increased option d glaciers will melt and sea level increased so which one is the right option so as we know that uh, one of the uh, alarming uh, warning for uh, the earth is the global warming which leads to change in temperature and also change in the amount of rainfall and causes various problems so here the option d that is glaciers will melt and sea level increases because change in the temperature and the amount of rainfall which causes the various problem that is glacier will melt and sea level increases so right option is option d question number 14 acid rain causes option a noise pollution option b air pollution option c thermal pollution option d soil pollution so acid rain causes due to which the acid rain causes so acid rain caused by the release of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides into the uh, atmosphere where they react with water oxygen and other chemicals to become a sulfuric and nitric acid respectively which is called air pollution right so acid rain cause due to air pollution so option b is the right answer coming to question number 15 the number of these are the largest in an ecosystem 
so the number of these are the largest in ecosystem a producers b primary consumers c secondary consumers d territory consumers the right answer is the producers option a producers are organism that can make their food such as trees shrubs grass algae lichen seaweed and some bacteria so the producer is the right answer option a question number 16 plants growing under the shade are known as option a cymophyta phytes cymophytes and uh, cyophytes heliophyte or option d monocot so here the option b is the right answer cyophyte so cyophyte is a plant that endures or thrives the best at lowered light intensity so therefore cyophytes is the right answer so these plants growing under the shades cyophytes question number 17 fresh water in the hydrosphere is dash percentage so what is the percentage of water in hydrosphere so 2.5 30 13 or 33 so the right answer is option a that is 2.5 percentage the fresh water uh, percentage in hydrosphere and uh, with this the ice caps and reservoir approximately 68 percentage with the fresh water is contained and about 30 percentage is contained in reservoir around 98.5 percentage of hydrosphere supply is salt water so therefore only 2.5 percentage fresh water in hydrosphere so option a is the right answer question number 18 the earth summit 1992 was held at option a rio de janeiro option b stockholm option c new york is it option d geneva so where it was held our summit was uh, uh, 1992 our summit was held in which of these the united nations conference on environmental and development which is also called as earth summit and it was held in 3rd to 14th june 1992 at rio de janeiro the right option is option a rio de janeiro coming to question number 19 what makes the desert region to become highly unproductive the reason why it is highly unproductive option a temperature option b sunlight option c salinity or is it option d increase in the rain the desert land uh, as we know that it has saltinity so therefore option c saltinity is the right option question number 20 the term ecosystem was first coined by option a ep odum option b s a forbes option c car mobius or is it option d a g tansley so the right option is option d a g tansley sir arthur g tansley in 1935 coming to question number 21 which of the following is an example for an 
artificial ecosystem so we have to find which one is the artificial ecosystem is it pond or river or paddy field or grassland so which one is the artificial ecosystem not natural artificial pond river grassland are the natural ecosystems not artificial ecosystems so only the paddy field option c paddy field is the right answer that is the crop field which is also called as paddy field is an artificial ecosystem question number 22 separate the abiotic components of the ecosystem option a plants animals option b organism option c organism and water option d light air so which one is the abiotic component of the eco system as we have already discussed uh, which one is the biotic which one is the abiotic and a uh, light air soil and nutrients etc form the abiotic components of an ecosystem abiotic factors vary from ecosystem to ecosystem so therefore uh, this uh, option d light and air so light and air is the right option so option d coming to question number 23 identify the decomposers option a frogs option b algae option c bacteria and fungi is it option d plankton and algae so we have to identify the decomposers the most decomposers are microscopic organism including protozoa and bacteria other decomposers are big enough to see without a microscope they include fungi along with the invertebrate organism sometimes called distrovores and which includes earthworm terminates and millipedes so therefore here the option uh, bacteria and fungi is the decomposer so option c is the right answer question number 24 a product of photosynthesis is dash option a carbon dioxide option b water option c oxygen or is it option d chlorophyll chlorophyll so the right answer is option c oxygen glucose and oxygens are the end products of photosynthesis so therefore here only the oxygen is given no glucose is given so oxygen is the right option so option c next question question number 25 the environment includes option a biotic abiotic components only option b biotic components only option c biotic abiotic components and option d water and air the environment includes sun soil water air which are essential for the human life so water and air is also there but we are talking about the environment includes everything which is uh, biotic and abiotic both the components are included in the environment so therefore option c is the right answer biotic and abiotic components question number 26 the food chain ends with dash option a large herbivore option b an omnivore option c carnivore or is it option d decomposers decomposers are organism that gets energy from dead and waste organism uh, organic materials this is the last stage of the food chain so therefore here in the questions also they ask the food chain ends with decomposers so therefore option d is the right answer decomposers question number 27 detritus food chain starts with 
detritus food chain starts with so option a sunlight option b green plants option c consumers option d detritus detritus food chain is a type of food chain that starts with dead organic material so dead organic material so therefore detritus food chain starts with detritus so option d is the right answer the next question number 28 identify the man made ecosystem is it aquarium or river or stream or ocean so which one is the man made ecosystem artificial ecosystems are human made structures where biotic and abiotic components are made to interact with each other for survival it is not self sustaining and can perish without human help so examples we have like artificial ecosystems include aquariums agriculture fields zoos etc so therefore here the aquarium option a aquarium is the right answer question number 29 the pattern of eating and being eaten is known as dash option a food web option b energy flow option c food chain or is it option d ecological pyramid the food chain is a sequence of uh, population or organism through which the food and energy are passed in ecosystem with a member of each tropic level which is called as food chain so option c is the right answer food chain that is the pattern of eating and being eaten is known as food chain so question number 30 herbivores are examples for dash option a producers option b primary consumers option c secondary consumers or is it d decomposers the herbivore is an animal that only eats vegetation such as grasses fruits leaves vegetable roots bulbs etc so here the producer is the right answer option a producer is the right answer for this question coming to question number 31 green plants of an ecosystem are also called dash option a heterotrophs option b autotrophs option c primary consumers or is it d chemotrophs so green plants of an ecosystem are also called the dash so the green plants are also called as photo autotrophs so photo autotrophs so there is no photo autotrophs but autotrophs are there so option b autotrophs the green plants and ecosystems are also called as autotrophs question number 32 dash one of the most endangered species of indian birds option a bee eater option b paradise fly catcher option c owl option d the great indian bustard so the great indian bustard is the right answer because it is the most endangered species of bird found only in india and adjoining region so bustard is one of the largest flying species of bird with weight of up to 15 kg and about 1 meter tall from the ground so great indian bustard is the right answer so this question was earlier also asked in the third semester of evs paper so you have to remember so question number 33 which animal of the following is not endemic to western ghats option a lion tiled macaw or nilgiri thar or malabar great 
हॉर्नबिल और लंगूर सो वेस्टर्न घाट इज हैविंग सेवरल नेशनल पार्क्स वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज एंड टाइगर रिजर्वियर्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कंटेन मेनी एंडेमिक स्पाइसिस सच एज लायन टेल्ड मकाय नीलगिरी थार नीलगिरी लंगूर इंडियन जैंट स्क्वायरल एक्सेट्रा मेनी ऑफ दीज एंडेमिक स्पाइसिस आर इंडेंजर्ड स्पाइसिस बट द मलबार ग्रेट हॉर्बल इज नॉट इन द वेस्टर्न घाट सो ऑप्शन C is the right answer because we have to find not endemic to western ghats that is malbar great hornbills that is the right answer option C coming to 34th question the type of forest found near the sea shores is dash A mangroves B deciduous forest option C evergreen forest option D thorny forest the right option is mangroves mangroves are the forest which can grow near the seashore and these are the plant which can grow in the marshy and saline saline areas so these plants can survive a high concentration of salt so therefore mangroves is the right answer Question number thirty-five: Biodiversity hotspots are option A have more endemic species. Option B have more number of population. Option C the organism that hottest places of world. Option D only present in sea. So biodiversity hotspots are. So biodiversity hotspots are the region that contain the high level of species diversity many endemic species and the significant number of uh, threatened or endangered species so therefore have more endemic species is the hotspot of biodiversity so biodiversity hotspots are have more endemic species option a is the right answer question number 36 the red data book is published and updated by i u c n option b ngos of local area option c sites option d government of india so who published and updated red data book so option a is the right answer i u c n that is international union for the conservation of natural and natural resources publisher of red data book which was published in 1964 and uh, founded in 19 uh, this uh, iucn was founded in 1948 and its aim is to conserve the species with the help of scientific knowledge and international cooperation so therefore option a is the right answer who published red data book coming to question number 37 shola is dash the vegetation of valley option b coniferous forest or option c plant grow near the sea coast option d endangered species which one is the right so sholas are the local name of patches and uh, stunted tropical mountain forest found in valley amid rolling grassland in the higher mountaino regions of the south india which is largely found in kerala karnataka and tamil nadu so therefore the option a the vegetation of valley is the right answer okay the next question the total 40 percentage of endemic plants of india are in west eastern ghats western ghats deciduous forest or himalayan regions so where we find more endemic plants in india so total 40 percentage of endemic plants where we find eastern ghats western ghats uh, deciduous forest or himalayan regions himalayan regions 
so the right answer is the western ghats coming to question number 39 the example for in situ conservation option a botanical gardens option b zoo option c biosphere or is it option d all of the above so in situ conservation is the conservation of living resources by maintaining them in their natural ecosystem in which they occur example national park natural reservoir reserves the biosphere and uh, sacred groves etc so botanical garden zoo biosphere every thing is included in in situ conservation so the example for in situ conservation is all of the above option d is the right answer question number 40 biodiversity is more in option a terrestrial habitats option b fresh water habitats is it option c marine habitats and option d desert habitat the biodiversity is abundance and amount of different species living in an ecosystem so the area that have high terrestrial biodiversity have a large number and the wide variety of species living on the land so therefore the example of an ecosystem with high terrestrial biodiversity is the tropical rain forest so terrestrial habitats are the biodiversity is more in terrestrial habitats so option a is the right answer question number 41 migration is option a movement from one place to other option b periodic movement back and forth between the two areas option c change in habitat option d living in one place so simply they asked the migration so migration within the country is referred as internal migration and the migration that uh, crosses a nation boundary is called as migration or immigration so therefore the migration is a movement from one place to another place in simple words so option a is the right answer man tiger conflict is often reported in so in which of the indian india state Uh, this man tiger conflict is often reported so as per the report uh, there is a uh, madhya pradesh where we find uh, the man and tiger conflicts more but that option is not there so therefore we will go with the west bengal so the more number of uh, conflict happened between man and tiger is the west bengal option d x c2 conservation means what option a conservation of a uh, species by protecting its habitat along with all the other living species living there option b conservation of forest ecosystem or is it option c conservation of species outside its natural environment or is it option d conservation of plants so ex situ conservation is the technique of conservation of all levels of biological diversity outside their natural habitat through different techniques like zoo captive breeding aquarium botanical garden and gene bank so therefore conservation of species outside is uh, its natural environment that is option c is a ex situ conservation means conservation of species outside its natural environment so question number 44 the tsunami is caused by the reason we have to find the reason why the tsunami uh, happens option a earthquake on land option b tidal waves option c sea bed earthquake or is it d volcanic eruptions on land so the tsunami is a series of extremely long wave caused by a large and sudden displacement of the ocean usually the result of an earthquake below or the near the ocean floor so therefore option c sea bed earthquake the tsunami is caused by sea bed earthquake question number 45 biomedical waste are generated from 
ऑप्शन ए हॉस्पिटल्स ऑप्शन बी केमिकल इंडस्ट्रीज ऑप्शन सी डाइंग यूनिट्स और इज इट डी अटोमिक पावर प्लांट्स एज अ रिसेंट स्टडी विच क्लासिफाइड द मेडिकल वेस्ट इन टू द वेस्ट जनरेटेड बाय क्लिनिक हॉस्पिटल मेटर्निटी सेंटर क्लिनिकल लेबोरेटरीज एंड द बेसिक हेल्थ यूनिट्स बट वेरी लिटिल इंफॉर्मेशन वॉज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर द मेडिकल वेस्ट जनरेटेड बाय एन इंडिविजुअल हाउसेस सो द बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट आर जनरेटेड फ्रॉम मोस्ट फ्रॉम द हॉस्पिटल्स नॉट फ्रॉम केमिकल इंडस्ट्री और ऑटोमिक पावर प्लांट्स और डाइंग यूनिट्स सो हॉस्पिटल इज द राइट आंसर ऑप्शन ए क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स गैस एसोसिएटेड विथ भोपाल गैस ट्रेजिडी वॉस ऑप्शन ए फिनाइल आइसोसनाइड और मिथाइल आइसोसिनाइट और ऑप्शन सी बेंजेन और डी क्लोरो फ्लोरोकार्बन सो वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट ट्रैजिडी इन इंडिया हैपन्ड इन डिसम्बर थर्ड नाइनटीन एटी फोर इन भोपाल बिकॉज ऑफ माइथल आइसोसैनाइट सो माइथल आइसोसैनाइट गैस वॉज लीकड फ्रॉम पेस्टिसाइड प्लांट्स इन भोपाल इम एंड दैट वॉज किल्ड एटलीस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड पीपल एंड कॉजिंग सिग्निफिकेंट मॉर्बिडिटी एंड प्री मेच्योर डेथ फॉर मेनी थाउजेंड मोर सो ऑप्शन बी माइथल आइसोसेनाइट इज द राइट ऑप्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन सो कार्नोबाइल न्यूक्लियर डिजास्टर टू प्लेस इन द इयर ऑप्शन ए नाइनटीन नॉट एट ऑप्शन बी नाइनटीन एटी सिक्स ऑप्शन सी नाइनटीन सेवेंटी ऑप्शन डी नाइनटीन एटी On April 26, 1986, the number of RBMK reactor at a nuclear power plant at Karnboil, Ukraine, went out of control during the test low power loading and explosion and fire that demolished the reactor building and released a large amount of radiation into the atmosphere. So the year. 1986 is the right answer this disaster took place in 1986 question number 48 the following is not a layer of the atmosphere option a troposphere option b stratosphere option c mesosphere option d thermosphere the actually the atmosphere is composed of the layer based on the temperature and these layers are uh, troposphere stratosphere and uh, mesosphere and thermosphere so the last one is the thermosphere as per this uh, temperatures uh, so we will go with the option d that is uh, thermosphere Question number forty-nine: Air pollutants on mixing up with air water makes it. Option A: Acidic. Option B: Basic. Option C: Neutral. Option D: None of these. Right option is acidic because air pollution on mixing up with the rain uh, rain water makes it acidic rain, and it is caused by chemical. reaction that begins when the components like uh, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen di- uh, oxides are released into the air question number 50 acid rain is caused by increase in the atmosphere concentration of so the formulas are given so we have to find out which one is the right a b c d so as per this question sulfur dioxide that is so2 and nitrogen oxide no2 are the primary causes of acid rain and these gases are emitted from industries thermal power plants and automobiles so right option is option b 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन ताजमहल एट आगरा मे बी डैमेज बाय एसिड रेन नेटी रल रेन और ऑप्शन डी हाइड्रोजन और ऑक्सीजन सो द ताजमहल मे डैमेज बाय एसिड रेन बिकॉज द एसिड रेन रिएक्ट्स विद द मार्बल ऑफ ताजमहल विच इज मेड अप ऑफ calcium carbonate and this has the resultant in the change of the color of the marble of the taj mahal from white to pale yellow so thus the acid rain due to industrialization in the agra is damaging the taj mahal so right option is acid rain so question number 52 blue baby syndrome is caused by ऑप्शन ए वाटर ऑप्शन बी एयर ऑप्शन सी सॉइल ऑप्शन डी न्यूक्लियर हजार द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज ऑफ ब्लू बेबी सिंड्रम इज वॉटर कंटाइनमेंट विद द नाइट्रेट्स आफ्टर अ बेबी ड्रिंक्स अ फॉर्मूला मेड विथ नाइट्रेट रिच वॉटर द बेबी कन्वर्ट्स द नाइट्रेट्स इन टू निट्रेट्स एंड दीज निट्रेट्स बाइंड टू द हिमोग्लोबिन इन द बॉडी फॉर्मिंग मैथाबोल मैथामोग्लोबिन विच इज अनेबल टू कैरी ऑक्सीजन सो देर फोर द ब्लू बेबी सिंड्रम इज कॉज ड्यू टू वॉटर नॉट बाय एयर नॉट बाय सॉइल नॉट बाय न्यूक्लियर हजार सो ऑप्शन ए वॉटर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री साउंड बिकम नॉइज पॉल्यूशन एट डेसिबल ऑप्शन ए अबाउ थर्टी अबाउ एटी अबाउ हंड्रेड अबाउ वन ट्वेंटी डेसिबल एज वी नो दैट द ह्यूमन इयर्स कैन टॉलरेट द साउंड अप टू एटी डेसिबल्स एंड बियॉन्ड दिस कॉजेज द इरिटेशन एंड हैंज द लेवल अबाउ नाइंटी डेसिबल्स आर कंसिडर्ड एज नॉइज पॉल्यूशन सो ऑप्शन b above 80 that is uh, up to uh, level 80 decibel a uh, human ears can tolerate so beyond that it is intolerable so therefore sound becomes noise pollution above the 80 so option b is the right answer environmental pollution refers to a dash in the atmosphere option a desirable change option b undesirable change option c drastic change and option d is a slow change so environmental pollution refers to it refers to introduction of harmful harmful pollutant into the environment the major type of environmental pollutions are air pollution water pollution noise pollution thermal pollution soil pollution and light pollution so they these are undesirable changes in the atmosphere so therefore environmental pollution refers to undesirable changes in the atmosphere option b is the right answer the first and foremost purpose of the wildlife protection act is to option a protect the habitats of wild animal option b protection of forest from wild animals or is it c legalize the hunting or option d protection of human beings from animal um as we talk about the for wild life protection act this wild life protection act came into force in 1972 the main objective of this act is to provide the protection and improvements of the environment and for matters connects therewith so therefore the option a protect the habitat of wild animal is the first and foremost purpose of the wildlife protection and they stopped illegalize hunting also with this wildlife protection act so the main purpose is to protect the habitats of a wild animals question number 56 forest conservation act enacted with the object of option a avoid 
deforestation option b encourage afforestation option c conservation of forest or is it d encourage the reformation again this uh, forest conservation act came into force in 1980 it is an act by parliament of india which uh, in ensures the conservation of forest and its resources it was enacted by the parliament of india india in order to control the ongoing deforestation of the forest of india so the enacted with the main object is to stop the deforestation to control the ongoing deforestation and conservation of the forest so option c conservation of the forest is the right answer coming to 57th question in india endangered animals are listed in option a environment protection act 1986 option b wildlife protection act 1972 option c forest conservation act 1980 or is it the indian forest act 1982 that is revised so the right answer is wildlife protection act 1972 in india endangered animals are listed so it is listed on schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 question number 58 natural resources like minerals coal petroleum are called a non renewable b renewable c biotic resource d a biotic resource like um, mineral coal petroleum all these are non renewable resources non renewable energies include the coal natural gas oil nuclear energy once these resources are used up they cannot be replaced which is a major problem for humanity as we are currently dependent on them to supply most of our energy needs so the mineral coal petroleum sir non renewable energy question number 59 the major contribution to increase the greenhouse effect option a cfcs option b co2 option d ch4 or is it d n2o so the right option is co2 carbon dioxide is currently responsible for our 60 percentage of the enhanced greenhouse effect which is responsible for climate change co2 that is carbon dioxide question number 60 thinning of ozone layer is called ozone hole ozone block ozone star or ozone plate the thinning of the ozone layer present in the upper atmosphere is called as ozone layer depletion some chemical compounds release chlorine and bromine which exposure to the high ultraviolet light causes the depletion of ozone this thinning of the ozone layer over antarctica came to be known as ozone hole so therefore the thinning of ozone layer is called as ozone hole option a is the right answer question number 61 london smog causes a difficulty in breathing b difficulty in drinking c difficulty in digestion d difficulty in exertion so london smog cause so the smog is formed by mixing air and uh, pollutants and exhaust gases resulting from human activities so therefore the difficulty in breathing is the main cause of london smog option a is the right answer question number 62 the name Menka Gandhi is related to 
ऑप्शन ए प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ एनिमल्स बी साइलेंट वैली सी चिपको मूवमेंट और इज इट डी नर्मदा बचाव आंदोलन सो दिस नेम मेनका गांधी शी इज अ विडो ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटिशियन संजय गांधी एंड शी हैज बीन अ मिनिस्टर इन फोर गवर्नमेंट्स मोस्ट रिसेंटली इन नरेंद्र मोदी इज गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम मे टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू मे टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन she is also authored a number of books in the area of etymology law and animal welfare so therefore the name menika gandhi is related to protection of animals so option a is the right answer question number 63 what type of energy resources is petroleum option a inconvenient option b synthetic option c renewable or is it d non renewable so we have already seen that uh, petroleum crude oil uh, so these are the non renewable resources of energy so option d is the right answer question number 64 which of the following pathogens cause aids option a h a v option b h i v option c h b v option d h c v so the right option is option b h i v that is human immunodeficiency virus so human immunodeficiency virus that is h i v is the virus that causes the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome which is called as aids acquired immuno deficiency syndrome aids so right option is hiv question number 65 the main uh, the aim of the project shri shakti is option a to promote the birth of a girl babies option b giving bravery award to girls or is it c empowering women economically or is it d uplifting the energy level in women the main the main aim of the project sri shakti so the sri shakti project main aim is to strengthen the process of economic development of rural women and to create the con uh, conductive environment for social change and to form a self help group shg based on the thrift and credit principles which builds self reliance and enable the women to have a greater access and control over the resources so therefore the aim of the project sri shakti is to empowering the women economically option c is the right answer coming to question number 66 january 24 is celebrated as mothers day republic day children's day or girl child day so january 24 not 26 if it's 26 republic day was there so january 24 is a girl child day this is the national girl child day which is uh, celebrated in india every year on 24th january question number 67 expansion of hiv just only we discussed about aids and hiv uh, so options are given and uh, hiv stands for human immunodeficiency virus so option d is the right answer okay so the next question question number 68 gis stands for option a geographic information system option b geological information system option c genetic information system option d global information system i s stands for information system but we have to find g what is mean by g so g is a geographic geographic information system option a is the right answer which consists of integrated computer hardware and software that store manage analyze edit output and visualize the graphics data much of these often happens within the 
spatial database however this is not essential to meet the definition of a gis so gis stands for geographic information system not geological or global or genetic question number 69 what is who we all know that um, so many times we heard who name in newspapers in news we here we read who that is world health organization option b is the right answer world health organization and this uh, who is uh, work worldwide to promote the health keeps the world safe and serve the vulnerable and the main goal of this who is to ensure that the billion more people to have universal health coverage to protect a billion more people from health emergencies and to provide the further billion people with better health and well-being and who headquarter is located in geneva switzerland and it has six region regional offices and 150 field offices worldwide Question number 70. Indian government declares DASH as Women Empowerment Year. So which year is uh, declared as a Women Empowerment Year by the government of India? 2001, 2010, 2005, 2011. The right option is 2001. The government of India launched a national policy for women empowerment with a specific objectives like strengthening the legal system aimed at eliminating all forms of discrimination against women the right option is 2001 question number 71 which indian state has highest population density option a kerala option b delhi option c bihar option d karnataka so according to census 2011 bihar remains india's most dense inhabited state whereas delhi is a densely populated union territory not state so india's density population uh, density of population as per the census 2011 so bihar is the most uh, dense state or highest population density state is Bihar option C question number 72 which Indian state has the highest literacy rate a Karnataka B Kerala C Goa D Maharashtra again this uh, literacy rate we find the highest in Kerala so Kerala state is the right option option B because uh, it is the most literate state in India with the highest literacy rate is 94% and the lowest rate in the India is uh, Andhra Pradesh has the lowest literacy rate is 66.4% according to the National Statistical Office so for this 72 question the right answer is question uh, option b kerala question number 73 aids is dash sexually transmitted disease b food borne disease c airborne disease or water borne disease uh, so as we just only discussed about uh, HIV and AIDS so it's a sexually transmitted disease so option A is the right answer 74th question malaria is spread by option A cockroach option B mosquito option C housefly or D rat malaria is spread by so malaria is spread by mosquito option b is the right answer uh, so mosquito bite an infected female 
ऑनफेल्स मॉस्किटो एंड मलेरिया में ऑल्सो बी स्प्रेड बाय ट्रांसफ्यूजन ऑफ ब्लड फ्रॉम इन्फेक्टेड पीपल और बाय द यूज ऑफ डर्टी और कंटाइमिनेटेड नीडल्स और सिरेंजेस सो ऑप्शन बी मॉस्किटो इज द राइट आंसर कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फाइव डी डी टी वॉज यूज टू कंट्रोल ऑप्शन ए कॉक्रोच ऑप्शन बी हाउस फ्लाई ऑप्शन सी मॉस्किटो ऑप्शन डी एंड्स डी डी टी वॉज यूज टू कंट्रोल सो वॉट इज दिस डी डी टी सो द डी डी टी इज डाइक्लोर डाइफनाइल ट्राइक्लोफेनाइन दिस इज डी टी टी वॉज यूज टू कंट्रोल द मलेरिया सो द राइट ऑप्शन इज मॉस्किटो क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स रिकेट्स इज कॉज बाय द डिफिशियंसी ऑफ विटामिन ऑप्शन ए ए विटामिन ऑप्शन बी बी विटामिन ऑप्शन सी सी विटामिन ऑप्शन डी डी विटामिन सो रिकेट्स इज कॉज बाय द डिफिशियंसी ऑफ विच विटामिन रिकेट्स इज यूजली कॉज बाय अ लैक ऑफ विटामिन डी कैल्शियम एंड फॉस्फोरस विटामिन डी डिफिशियंसी कैन अकर एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ हैविंग अ डार्क स्किन लैक ऑफ एक्सपोजर ऑफ द स्किन टू सनलाइट एंड न्यूट्रिशनल डिफिशियंसीज एंड डिसऑर्डर ऑफ द लिवर किडनी और स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन सो ऑप्शन डी विटामिन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सेवन द डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ कलेक्टिंग डेमोग्राफिक डेटा इज कॉल्ड ए सर्वे बी स्टैटिस्टिक्स सी सेंसस और इज इट डी डेटा कलेक्शन द राइट ऑप्शन इज सेंसस इट इज द डायरेक्ट मेथड ऑफ कलेक्टिंग द डेमोग्राफिक डेटा The census is the other common direct method of collecting demographic data and it is usually conducted by the national government and attempt to enumerate every person in the country. So option C census is the right answer. Question number 78 the ocean covers dash percentage of earth's surface. A 51% B 61% C 71% D 81% The right answer is 71%. The ocean cover 71 percentage of earth's surface. So 70% is the accurate figure. The ocean covers more than we say more than 70 percentage of the surface of our planet. So therefore the option See, seventy-one percentage of our planet. It hard to imagine, but about ninety-seven percentage of the Earth's water can found in the ocean. So, therefore, the seventy-one percent, the ocean cover seventy-one percentage of the Earth surface. Question number seventy-nine. Which gas is likely to be reduced in the atmosphere by deforestation? Option A. कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड ऑप्शन बी नाइट्रोजन ऑप्शन सी ऑक्सीजन और इज इट डी मिथैन द राइट ऑफ राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज ऑक्सीजन विद द डिफॉरेस्टाइजेशन वी कैन रेड्यूस द ऑक्सीजन इन द एटमोस्फेयर सो ऑक्सीजन इज द गैस which is likely to be reduced in the atmosphere by deforestation so option c is the right answer coming to the last question 80th question the 80th question is in laboratory phytoplanktons are observed under option a binocular option b microscope option c telescope or is it d gps so some plancot uh, plancotinic organism can be quite large however the most are small enough that they have to viewed under the microscope 
माइक्रोस्कोप टू बी आइडेंटिफाइड प्लैंगटोन दैट कैन फोटो सिंथेसाइज आर कॉल्ड फोटो प्लैंगटोन एंड फॉर्म द बेसिस ऑफ ओशनिक फूड चेन सो देर फोर वी यूज माइक्रोस्कोप इन लैबोरेटरी फॉर फोटो प्लैंगटोन्स टू ऑब्जर्व टू सी सो राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन बी माइक्रोस्कोप सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ दिस पेपर आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड ऑल दीज एम सी क्यूज देर डेफिनेशंस एंड वाई वी हैव चूसन ए बी और सी और डी ऑप्शंस राइट सो वंस अगेन आई विल रिमाइंड यू दिस इज द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ बी ए बी एस सी बी सी ए बी कॉम बी बी ए बी एस डब्ल्यू फोर्थ सेमिस्टर बट इट इज हेल्पफुल फॉर ऑल द एन ई पी स्टूडेंट्स हु इज स्टडिंग एनवायरमेंटल स्टडी इन देयर सेमिस्टर्स सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग